Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> the uh, basement light CFL crapped out. There it is there. This is the main switch that is turned on to go along with the, the light up there, which you saw before. They're both tied together. And uh, it crapped out. We use this light a lot. I'm actually surprised it lasted as long as it did. It's probably, I don't know, three years, four years, even five years. I gotta take it out and see if I have a, a similar bulb. Here's the inside of the fixture. Uh, obviously I don't have any more light than this. It just pulls down on these metal hangy things. And there's actually a metal reflector. And here's the bulb. This is an old one. Oh, I got some schmutz on my finger from the light. Sunbeam, 24 watt equivalent, which I think is 100, or, or rather 100 watt equivalent tw using 24 watts. Um, made in China, but look at the date. I guess that means March of 2002. Now, the year is definitely correct. I bought these things back when we still had our apartment. Uh, they were a decent price. I forget what I paid for it. Um, came in a four pack. I think one was actually dead out of the package. But I still have the box and there should be at least two left. So let's go get a replacement. Only because somebody was going to ask. Here's the inside of it. All the wires are still attached. And surprisingly, none of the three capacitors had vented. They all look fine. Which is surprising for something from 2002 when capacitor plague was uh, in full effect. So this one actually held up. I always had mixed emotions about these sunbeam bulbs. Because I remember, like I said, one was bad out of the box and I never returned it or they never had any more or whatever the hell the deal was, I don't remember. But anywho, it's there, it's all together. And it didn't explode. It just uh, can't strike the arc in the bulb and that's all she wrote, but this has been in service for, like I said, many years. Well, unfortunately I didn't seem to have the box. I thought I did. I thought I still had a couple of them. Maybe I used them. I really just don't know where they are or what happened to them at the moment. But in going through some of my bulbs, I had found this Max Light 23 watt, where this was 24. I guess they got one watt more efficient over the years. Um, it's also made in China. I'm sure it says somewhere over here. Which I don't happen to see at the moment probably stamped on the inside of the bulb so it just projects china on the walls who knows uh, this also does not seem to have a date on it anywhere that I can tell I don't think that actually means anything right there and the spiral is actually a little smaller you can tell just a little bit but let's go put it in and see what happens That's a pretty nice instant on right there, and it's not even at full brightness. Oh, Dick! Gotta go! So that was about a five minute, well, not even five minute interlude, but uh, close to it. And man, that thing actually hurts to look at. So let me close the cover up, and we'll see what kind of light it casts. Oh, it's brighter. I like that kind. Yes, indeed. It still has that stark, compact fluorescent look, but it's pleasing enough that uh, I don't actually have a problem with the CFL being in there. And, you know, sometimes we just, you, you forget to shut the light or you accidentally leave it on or something like that. And remember, it's not just that light, it's also in conjunction with this one, and when that burns out, which I think it did once. Yeah, I remember changing it. 
that's uh, like a dollar store bright white piece of crap bulb but it's actually been holding up and it's actually just enough light for the steps just to see down without casting too much down here I don't know if you saw it all when uh, this one over here was burned out you know here but um, anyway it's all changed and uh, we'll see uh, what kind of fun this one brings in terms of uh, when it's turned on how long it takes to warm up in that I have a lot of light bulbs and a lot more in here all different kinds all different wattages all different types a whole bunch more including some other oddball ones and a whole box full of other weird bulbs and others strewn about in places and one day I'm going to make a video of all these light bulbs that might be a nice uh, video to make in the winter yeah there's another box of light bulbs also weird stuff yeah I have all different types of weird light bulbs and uh, one day we will make a video of that it's a shame too because I wish I had that damn sunbeam bulb they gotta be around somewhere I just forget what I did with it I don't know anyway it's all here it's all different kinds here's an early um, what do you call it halogen you can see the capsule inside and this glass envelope is really really heavy I used to have another one of these and I actually fired it up and as soon as I did the halogen light just burned out so that one didn't last unfortunately but anyway one day I don't know when it's gonna be a long time but I will make videos of all these light bulbs so that's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.